Our group focuses on what we call the tiny technologies of micro and nanotechnology and trying to use them for human health applications. Half of the lab is focused on making implantable livers and the other half of the lab is focused on cancer, trying to do early detection and better therapy. So the long-term goal of our work is actually to make livers that would one day be transplanted into patients so that they wouldn't need an organ transplant. And along the way, what we've learned is how to make tiny little human livers. And about 10 years ago, we realized that even what we'd done already, making little tiny human microlivers, could be very useful to human health. Um, and in particular, they offered a window into how patients would respond to medicines, um, how they were metabolized, how they were processed by the liver, and whether they were safe. Um, so these microlivers can be used for drug toxicity screening, which we do now through a startup company that my student and I started. Um, and also, they can be used for studying infections of the liver. And there's a lot of infections of the liver, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and I think, interestingly, malaria, all infect the liver. And so when you want to make drugs against those organisms, you need to be able to study them in, um, in, the, in a human liver format. So one thing that we're really excited about is a new method that we've developed for cancer diagnosis. And it's still early, but the way we envision that it would work is that it would be a shot and a urine test. And the shot would contain nanoparticles, little tiny particles that are a thousand times more narrow than a human hair. And they could enter into a tumor because tumors have leaky blood vessels. And they could make a measurement there, their sensors, and they could release tiny fragments that would find their way into the urine that we could detect. And we can detect these with fancy instruments, like an instrument called the mass spectrometer. Or we could detect them with something really inexpensive and point of care, like paper. And we envision that this paper diagnostic might be able to be used in the developing world where there isn't the infrastructure for routine screening of some of the most common cancers. So we have multiple goals. I have multiple goals. Um, some of them are scientific to sort of better understand how the human body works, how the liver works, how a tumor arises and spreads. Some of them are technological. That is, when we have an invention, we want to not just publish a paper or write a patent, but also to get it into patients, which we usually need to do through startup companies. Some of it is educational. We'd like to train people that think in an interdisciplinary way, both in the classroom and in the laboratory. And some of it is inspirational. That is, to be a woman in science and to have little girls that are thinking about what they want to be when they grow up um, to be kind of visible for them.